Hey, well, welcome to the Dream Labs, Dr. Contrast Live. Um, before I begin here today, I just thought I'd do uh, a little bit of an update. I really uh, felt terrible, but uh, this past Tuesday, uh, we were really having a hard time getting logged on to Twitch. And for some odd reason, we just went to a certain stage and logging in. All of a sudden, the next thing we know, uh, I could put the title block. I couldn't put the title block in, so I couldn't, 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 could not go any further. So we just kind of pulled back a little bit and had decided to go back and look at the trouble uh, shooting systems. And sure enough, it was all the difficulties that we found were on uh, Twitch's end. So we were fine at this end, but something had taken place at the Twitch side of life. So anyway, I'm very sorry for the uh, inconvenience on that end of the game. But I uh, just thought today we kind of pull back a little bit. I'm going to go through some really quick scenarios here and uh, just some transportation design concept sketches and so no real brand or, or brand line. And, in mind just just going through a series of uh thumbnail studies and maybe some overview of uh, uh, a little bit of technique change uh, go to tone paper perhaps a little bit of marker stuff and we'll just run, uh, run through some really quick little thumbnail sketches here on just basic transportation design and while i go through all this i to really notice for example how really melodic the whole process has to should become when you go through a sketch rendering exercise it should not be really looked upon as being very uh, stiff or rigid but just being very melodic a lot of uh, a lot of uh, intuition a lot of in improvisation a lot of searching and looking through the process to get to, to get to arrive at the proportion I think one of the toughest things we do in transportation design, it was for me in the early stages, and still is a battleground in many cases, is getting the proportional width. You go to like a three-quarter front or a three-quarter rear, getting those proportions correct as far as width, the height, and length um, become a real issue. So we'll go through some of those phases, maybe if not today, uh, maybe on this coming Tuesday. So let's get this started. I'm going to do an elevation quickly here, just a nice little quick little SUV. Let's get the ground line down here. Lay down that first tire. As we said before, we always go back into this process of one, two, three, I get maybe a good four and a half back, get a little bit of beef to this thing. Let's get that down, kind of reinforce the ground line. Get that set up. Let's put a little spring line in this thing. Let's get an elevation down. Our side tire in place, get a little more perspective, a little bit of depth to it. And just put a little nice little scratchy stuff in here, just kind of give ourselves a little peek at. that perspective center
sharpen this guy up a bit here. Back to it. <clears throat> a little bit of daylight in the glass here. A little bit of surface to it. A little bit of body forming in this guy. And there's a little elevation study here, phase one. Just got to put together some little quick proportions here. Let me sharpen this stuff up a little bit. Let's switch into a, maybe a three-quarter front here. Let's get this guy started here. So you got to get the wheelbase started. Go back here and get this thing counted in. Let's just kind of pick a side here. We're just going to see it maybe right in there. So I'm going to come right back in there with a nice body line and get this thing to gesture to kind of come through for us here. Take that through, run this over, the proportion in, get that upper in place, slide that across. Again, just really quick little gesture stitch here. Let's bring this into play here. Let's get that set up. Bit of a lapping graphic here. Run that through. The center line, back side line here. Let's get a little bit more of that hip to kind of work for us here, like that upper sketch has here. Get this in place. Back here and get this guy.
Bend her down a little bit here. Sharpen this guy again a little bit here. Let's roughly put together. There we are, coming together nicely. There it is. A little bit of wine, wine weight for us here. And a little quick little sketch here, just got a little three quarter front. It's got a little more shadow in this guy here. Put this down just a bit. Subside of the vent. I'm just going to put a little bit of thrust line in this guy, take it through the machine. And there's a little elevation in the three quarter front study on uh, just getting some, some theme down, maybe a little variation and a change of pace here. But nonetheless, um, I think really important thing about this is once you get that elevation down, notice it's a different stance, kind of a little bit of downhill California rate to it. And then when you go to the proportion side, of this is the key port right here. That's center line of the vehicle, right in there. That point right there, center line of the vehicle. So when I started this sketch, I laid down that front three-quarter wheel and moved over, drew a line right through across the top. I gave myself a, just a, a guess at point of reference for maybe width. So far, it worked out pretty good. But that, that proportion right there is always tough to deal with, and I think that's one of the things I really want to address here. Um, as we go through some of these exercises, a little bit of technique work and the like. So um, let's, let's call that, uh, let's go to that sketch one. I'm going to switch gears here and do a little bit of tone paper. Let me put those off to one side here for a moment. 
And uh, let's go back and just kind of switch gears and go through some of this stuff here with this. Let's uh, let's go back and look at that same. We had an elevation there uh, on that last sketch. Let me get organized here for a moment. In this last sketch, we had a little bit of a, a fastback. Let's look at that same thing and go through maybe a, a little bit of variation of the theme here. Let's get a ground line down. It's just switching gears. A little bit of medium change here. Get the same process. Let's line that guy up. And it's just a little stretch of the wheelbase. Give this a little bit more of a drive line here. Let's get that same spring line to work. At the same time, let's go a little spookier with this thing now. A little more of a cam back. Sharp this up just a bit. Just gonna tip this thing down just a touch. Here we are. Let's get this drive line to go through again up and then break it. And then that and maybe more of a cam back on it. Maybe another variation of pillar. So up on top here, let's do this. Let's put a little bit of graphics in this guy here. Get the signaling device here. Let's do a little bit of this, put a little bit of tone in this thing now. Gonna come through it just a bit. Get it down so down a little bit middle little tone surface here to get the body form to run through a bit go right through the entire process just swim right through it this will dry a very exciting process here it's going to bring this into play here let's run that through run that through let's run that through again it's a little more stain in this thing Now, let's go back and do this. Come back in. A little bolder now with these tire graphics, and I think we're in pretty good shape. Hey, Demetrius, is the fourth circle in the front of the back wheel in the back? Yes, it's in, that's in perspective. That's exactly right. These guys are in perspective now. Um, no question there. You just, hey, good to have you on board. How are you? Good to see you there, doctor. Let me just go back and get some of these wheel graphics in place here. Let's see. That's it. Oh, there it is. I got it.
go back and get a little bit of some little contour in this thing now. More body diamonds right through this thing. More a little bit of reflective light coming through this body shape. Just slowly but surely building the form, staying nice and lucid with it, not getting all caught up or trapped. That's that. Let's go really bold with this thing so we can get this thing to kind of knock itself out. Put more glass graphics in here. And we'll go back and pick up some interesting surfaces here. Let's do this. Let's really knock that thing back. Uh, one more pass here. And again here. Let's get this backside tire set up here and ground it down just a bit more. A little more technique to it. Gotta settle it. This one piece off the face here. I'm not feeding through any other. All right, good. I'm not. I can use a sheet here in a moment. There you are. Let me just what you think. A little quick little thumbnail sketch here. On um, yeah, the back. These backside tires are definitely. You're absolutely right. Those are the backside tires of perspective. Let's put them in a hot spot on these guys here. of light source. And real quick little elevation sketch in um in perspective, not in perspective, just kind of put a little bit more flavor to it. I, I kinda of, I don't know about you, but I remember if kind of prefer that that kind of a that torpedo back look much, much stronger. I think it's better than the cam back look here. So let's uh, carry on here. What do you think? The is is making sense for you? I'm just doing some really quick exercises today and just transportation concept sketches. Basically, again, I'm trying to get a hold of the fact that some some most important the most important aspect to me is proportion, length, overall height, width, and especially when you go to perspective and getting the widths correct. So, let's say it's going to do a little thumbnail sketch down below here. Let me just kind of sharpen this stick up a bit. We'll go at it here. There we are. Ready? Let's take it back in perspective. Same count. One, two, three, four. Back and eliminate that. Let's kind of get this in place here. Put the fenders in place. Let's run that across. Again, very constructive sketch here. Nice and lucid. I think I'm just kind of looking at basic overall proportion here. What am I going to do with this guy? Now, maybe that stops here. And maybe this comes in. More of this. Which gives me more of... Let's try a little different here. Rear view mirror. Rear view mirror. Let's take that back. Minimal.
No, let's go back in. Put a little bit of punch in this thing. Now, real quickly here, look how efficient that is. Getting the portions down, getting the shapes corrected. I mean, look how simple and really um, very, meth it's, it's just very methodical in terms of getting the proportions set. Let me move this up just a bit here. Get this guy to come back just a bit. It's very simple, minimal stuff. And I'm just go back and put a highlight in here, put a little bit of this in it. And it's really a lot of fun you know, kind of put these guys together here let's kind of do this let's do a little bit of this in here get that in behind it let's get a bit of a presence here And what do you think, Demetrius? There it is. This is a second phaser. It's just a little bit of a different approach in getting some of the graphics down. Um, just a lot of fun to see how it all begins to unfold here. I'm just going to get these guys lined up a bit more. For some other reason, the camera distorts. Those wheel lips is here. Get that little bit of highlight up on top of that glass and then we'll let it fade back, and that's much better. There it is. Put a far side glass. Another cowl over the edge of that border right there maybe just a touch more of this it's going to give a little more body to it just enough to kind of roll me over the side of that thing and that's that and there's sketch number two what do you think there guy so uh, just a nice simple old melodic little sketch here just kind of put together the format elevation looking at just different ways to approach the concept of getting proportion right in the elevation and then really kind of triggering back into the thing to cancel is that like yeah canton is a great uh, medium i think uh no question demetrius it's a tremendous uh, element to deal with i think just great stuff to work with here so it's, uh, that's that that let's go back in just for a second here and put those together here let me just do this so uh, before i begin here before i forget What's there? Let's see here. 
Let's go back in and just do another little thumbnail sketch here. <clears throat>
and there's a little thumbnail sketch there it is right there hey the marinello flavor hey how you doing jeff good to see you chief uh thanks to have you on board today just a little um little concept work here in terms of uh, uh putting together some really quick little concept sketches here jeff i just started out with a couple of little thumbnail sketches to bring up the speed here so a little pencil sketch and elevation on the three quarter front basically concentrating and getting gesture down uh, and the elevation then turning it around into the three quarter front and when i made a point here in this sketch jeff little marinello it's just interesting how i when i put it in the three quarter front the real key issue here was getting this thing into a, a format of of uh, the right proportion and getting the right width to height and length and so forth and it always comes back to laying down the right wheelbase as you well know uh, start with the first strike take it four back <clears throat> and get that draw a line through and get that width established and work up that center line to give you a good balance in terms of putting the pieces together so we switch gears from that little elevation into a little study here let's bring these guys if we get them all put together on the screen here let's start with this this let's go this way first this was a no i guess it's not going to work uh, it's going to be close i think right there so yeah i started with this guy here a um, little elevation went to a can back so that very slope back in the first sketch into can song and then you went back to a three-quarter front study again with that proportion element uh, putting it together and i think that was a real gist of this whole stream so get the proportions down it's so critical uh height length width and then again come back in and uh, and uh making sure the proportions are set and once they get in in in, in good stead and, and they're really well organized i think the rest of the sketch flows together nicely and then putting the graphics down and keeping it minimalistic and not overworking it uh, that's all part of the concept study here i'm trying to put together in the stream and then the last i just started this last page jeff when you came on board here with this guy a little thumbnail sketch here let's go back and kind of crank out uh one more little study here let's kind of go back to this and see if we can get this to work yeah <clears throat> A little deeper with this thing now. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>
Here's phase two. What do you think, gang? Eh? Just a couple little thumbnail sketches here, huh? Put together proportion. Little three quarter front. Again, notice that where that, that, that strike line is there. You come across and get that center line to work. A little bit of tire on uh, board. Get that wedge correctly, and boy, you're on your way. So let me stop there for a second, gang. What do you think? Uh, just making sense at all. But again, these proportions down. These are really quick little concept sketches and putting together some fundamentals of proportion. A um, little bit of scale involved in it. A little bit of newness in some cases. And again, just taking some chances on getting some really interesting. Let's move this off the one side here. I think these guys lined up. There's a couple of gang shots right there. Just uh, let's reverse these guys. So there it is. And there it is. And just kind of slide that in there side by side. There's a couple of little thumbnail sketches that are based on just uh, such quick, rapid concept sketches, elevations, three-quarter fronts, uh, just a whole lot of variation on theme. And, and I started the presentation today with this little pencil sketch, again, really emphasizing the importance of getting proportions down in an elevation, getting the wheelbase correct, overall heights, lengths, and overhangs. And when you really get critical is when you move into the three-quarter front or three-quarter rear. Uh, it takes on a whole different uh, scenario in terms of making sure that things are really proper. And I think the toughest thing is to get that width correct. And I'm always started with the, the basic concept of, for example, once you lay that first wheel in, that second wheel in, come right across off the top of that guy and give yourself a, a guideline. As to, and then get the cowl in place. Let me, let me take that back. Body contour, cowl, take that cowl across and extend that line over and get that center line, which is about right in here, set. That gives you an idea of where the proportions are as far as width is concerned. I've long been a believer in, in really putting together a good proportion, three-quarter front, no matter what the perspective is, especially front and rear three-quarters, um, they're always really healthy to work up your center line. Uh, nothing, nothing will disparage it. I think it's a great guide pulse. Once you find where that center line is, uh, everything else falls into place. And uh, just to show you what that really means here, let's go back here in a second. Let's put this aside. <clears throat> Let me just show you very quickly what this does. <clears throat> Just so we're on the same page as far as getting that proportion down here. You go to the three-quarter front, get that first wheel set, for example. Let's lay that in. Let's take it back in perspective. Let's give yourself a frame to work with. Just very outlining it in here. One, two, three, four back. Notice how it diminishes as I go back there. So I'm here, and then I'm here. I'm going to come across to the body line here. I'm just going to put this put a contour line on this thing. Just kind of put this just a, an abstraction. Let's get that in place. Now, once I find where my overhang is, is, I'm going to come back in and pick up my cowl line, which is right here, into upper. Take that over. Run that through. And then again, let's just kind of go back in through and stretch that out. I mean, look at the difference right here. Let's get the glass line in place. Collapse it. The upper. Let's go back and modify that just a bit here. Put a secondary line in there. Break it just a touch. Now notice what happened here. What I've done is taking that, that line right here, added the body contour into the upper, found that point which gives me the cowl, and I'm right across here. Now that center line's about right there. There's my upper windshield. Take that right down to the same draft line as this is. Run that over. There's my reference. I can drop that in. Now I can start to really put together the shape. I can drop it in, come right back to my rendezvous point, which is right here. And then notice, there it is. And from there, pull forward, pull forward. Again, around, draw through this. Get the overhang in place. Now I'll leave it at that. I mean, you can, you, can, you can reduce that. You can kind of pull it back a little bit, but that's a really good guidepost as to where to get that stuff to work for you here. Let's kind of put this in place here. I'm thinking about design here. Just trying to get the proportions down. Just come across. Now, if there's a change in the in the fender form, so I'm going to lift that up. That comes up, and that drops in. So you raise that up and drop that in. Come across again. Pick that same contact point up here. It's going to come up and then drop right about where the cow line is, right there. So you're going to get a contour change in that belt line. It's just little things to look at in terms of putting together form. Um, and again, which again, which is a lot of overhang here, so it's just going to move this wheels forward just a bit. Kind of get that scale set, bring that into place. Lamping graphics. 
very simplified obviously but again that gives you that center line gives you everything you need to know in terms of putting together proportions here so let me stop right there and carry on a little bit here is this making sense gang so far so good jeff and uh, demetrius thank, thank you so much for tuning in here today a lot of fun to have you on board guys so that's a little lesson here in terms of putting together that proportion to to me that proportion and width is the most critical for sometimes they're too narrow sometimes they're too tall but if you work up that center line using those construction points i just mentioned uh, a lot a lot healthier in terms of putting together the overall sketch just gotta put those aside for a moment here let's gotta go back and uh, just try one more shot here a little bit of media work here got one prepared ahead of time here just to kind of look at some basic basic geometry let's put this together here just real quickly we're going back into some really quickly uh, spontaneous gestures here let's go back in and look at some very simple processing here let's go back in I'm right down a little bit of my marker work a little bit hey that's great jeff thanks very much so we come back in a little bit of contour work just real quick real lucid scratch right through it and then the earthy quarter area there take that right on through another highlight in that fender mark that in there you are there look at that using another value for example and come back in here get those wheels to work a little bit just putting some stain in here and the tires to kind of wash out for us here now next thing a little bit of graphics here a little graphic there get that cockpit to work real quick spontaneous stuff nothing fancy just laying in some graphics and we go there Iron place, iron place, shadow. Happens very quickly and very spontaneously. It just neat stuff. I mean, you go back in through here. And have a little fun with this guy. Just put a little bit. His body color inside that form here. And the highlight. And just a little color studies there. Just going to put some information together here. Let's go a little further with this guy. Now that I've got this out, let's just kind of give it the same kind of graphic treatment. You know, a lot softer, too, in some areas. And come back in here with a real soft palette. Oh, excuse me. Right here for a moment, pardon me. That in place. And back underneath there, a little bit of scuff on this guy. Side tire, just really quick gestures. Just just kind of indicating where the forms are here.
And I'm going to have fun with this guy. And last but not least, maybe a little bit of, little bit of sky tone here. And there's another little rough study here. Just kind of putting some graphics together, and really quick and easy. So let's kind of keep going down the line here. A little bit of, a little bit of impact. Hopefully this is helping. Game. Just looking at very quick little thumbnails here. Back in and get some real high contrast graphics in this guy. I'm just picking up the high contrast points, and I'm not paying attention to an awful lot of detail here. Just looking at really good. Hopefully, very interesting graphics almost positive negative that the eye for follows the rest of the shape Let's get these guys lined up here a little bit. There we are. We'll stay in here.
Yeah, let's get this pen here. Let's do this instead. Let's go back and put a little pencil definition in this guy here. Let's see, our number five gray here, we got it. Almost there again. And there it is. There's a couple of little thumbnail sketches here on where we're at. And uh, there she is, gang. I'm just going to stop right there for the time being. Just some really quick little lucid concept sketches. There we are in place there. And um, I hope that will really kind of, kind of settle some things for you guys as far as approach is concerned. And, and uh, we'll maybe pick this thing up on Tuesday. And again, as I said in the beginning of the stream, I really felt bad about the fact that in the first uh, first couple of go rounds on Tuesday, we couldn't get the thing to kind of register up on Twitch. And uh, just a real sad situation in terms of uh, couldn't get the uh, opportunity to go run live here. But uh, I just want to go back in and throw some real quick little concept sketches together. Uh, a little multimedia stuff, some tone paper, some basic pencil, uh, overall proportions and the like. And while I'm at it, I just want to go ahead and maybe kind of wrap in this guy real quick here. Just a nice little pencil gesture. A bit of a reverse, reverse pillar. A little fast little thumbnail sketch. It's just exploratory, simple.
and there it is it's nice and direct and easy and just a little touch of lamp assembly back here a little bit up front and there we are this is a really quick little thumbnail sketches here gang so uh, to those of you with me today, Jeff and uh, Demetrius, thank you so much for joining forces today. It was a lot of fun. Uh, again, just a real quick capsulation of what we're after today. Just uh, looking at some real quick thumbnail sketches on some transportation design concept work. Um, very rapid. We started with, um, let me go back where we started with there. We started with um, this sketch. There's a little elevation study here. Uh, we put that one together just to get started with an elevation and a three-quarter front pre uh, perspective. Then we switched gears and went into the same variation of the theme, almost went into a cam back series here with uh, that same look, but more of a, a, a cam back, a wagon like um, shooting brake look. Then a little bit of a three quarter front a variation on theme, just to kind of put together some basic concept work and put that together. Then did a little a couple of little um, sport coupe studies on cans on paper, just really lucid again, uh, very, very gestury kind of sketches to kind of put it all together for us. And uh, last but not least, wrapped it up with this guy just underneath the sheet here. This is a series little different variations on theme basic pencil sketches a little bit of marker added some little multimedia stuff to get to it so once again gang thanks so much for the time today great to have you on board and uh, much appreciate it um, wish you all the very best and uh, again thank you for tuning in um, please visit my website at the uh, jim and dr contrast.com uh, we're trying to get some things organized now we've been talking about this t-shirt apparel line for quite some time we're getting them photographed now and hopefully we'll be up on the site uh, very soon we're going to add eight shirts and eight graphic posters to kind of follow suit with it so please keep checking in at uh, jim at drcontrast.com to get that squared away and we'll keep you posted on that and uh, if you have anything you want to work uh, me to work on to help you with uh, any suggestions for example for future streaming or programming please uh, feel free to drop me a line at jim at drcontrast.com just great to have you on board today uh, those two things i think uh, announcements are made we're all good to go here gang um hope you had a, as much fun as i did putting this together and we look forward to seeing you hopefully on tuesday so i was uh, always finished with this i think it's the most important part of the stream uh, never forget to remember to dare to be great because you are all the best gang thanks very much and take care we'll see you tuesday thanks bye-bye